This video explains how to convert a data object containing years, months, days, hours, minutes and seconds to a proper date object in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data object that we can create with line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called my date is appearing at the top right and we can print the content of this data object by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data object contains a year, a month, a day and hours, minutes and seconds. However, this data object is not formatted as a proper class yet. So for that reason, I will show you several examples on how to convert this data object to a date or to a date time class. So in the first example, I will show you how to convert our data object to a date. And we can do that using the sDate function, as you can see in line five of the code. And I'm applying this function to our data object called my date. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object called my date one. So after running line five of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right and we can print it by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have formatted our date and time input values as a pure date object. And this date object also has the date class. However, you can also see that we have dropped the hours, minutes and seconds from our input object. We can keep those elements by using the s POSIX-LT function, as you can see in line eight of the code. So once again, I'm applying this function to our data object that we have created in the beginning of the tutorial, and I'm storing the output of this function in another data object called myDate2. And then I'm printing this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And now you can see that our new data object is formatted as a proper date and time object. And you can also see that the time zone was added at the end of this data object. It's also possible that you are dealing with other date and time formats when you want to convert your data to a proper date and time object. So let's assume that you have a date that is formatted as shown in line 11 of the code. So in this case, our date and time is formatted with the format month, day, year, hours, minutes, and seconds. So after running lines 11 and 12 of the code, this data object is created and printed to the RStudio console. However, at this point, it's only a character string and not a proper date and time object. In order to format our date and time properly, we can use the strip time function, as you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. And within the strip time function, we need to specify the name of our data object and we need to specify the format. So as I have explained before, our current date that we are using is formatted with month, day, year, hours, minutes and seconds. So after running lines 14 and 15 of the code, a new data object, myDate3, is created. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console. And now you can see that our date is properly formatted. And you can also see that the time zone has been added. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.